Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you the design of engine SLA of Boeing 737-800 airliner. So what you can see here is an SLA and uh, I'm going to talk about the design of it. So basically uh, the outer covering of uh, the design is being made with uh, shaft command and here also you can see another shaft command and uh, here you can see the padding and uh, the circular pattern so I'll be going in detail uh, with uh, each of the design of each part so uh, let me just uh, tell you what a nacelle is so nacelle is a cover housing so it's separate from the fuselage that holds the engine fuel or equipment on an aircraft in some cases for instance in the typical Farman type pusher type aircraft or the World War II era P-38 Lightning. An aircraft's cockpit may also be housed in an SL, which essentially fills the function of a conventional fuselage. So the covering is typically aerodynamically shaped. So as you can see over here, because uh, uh, this comes on the uh, aircraft and uh, it's separately from the outside, so it needs to follow the aerodynamic shape, or else uh, it may hinder the uh, movement or the flight. So let me just uh, show you the first part that's the shaft. So for the shaft you need to uh, draw the basic drawing. So as a designer you'll be provided with the Nacelli's uh, uh, sketch, basic sketch. So once you're done with the sketch do a shaft for that and once you're done with that you have a small shaft command. So based on the uh, you know based on the uh, sketch which was given you can uh, you can you can create uh, what do you say the sketch and do the shaft command for that so you get this particular shape here and uh, over here once you come over here you can see this particular uh, uh, portion here so that's uh, this is nothing but uh, basically a shaft command so when you see the complete uh, airliner design you'll feel that it's very difficult to create but in fact uh, it's pretty easy if you follow the right command and the right technique so here you have another uh, sketch here which is uh, done with the shaft so once you'll be done with this uh, this particular sketch we'll have another shaft to be created here so that can also be created so basically you'll be provided with the offset that you need to give from the x-axis or the y-axis for each sketches so you will uh, create that on the top you can see there is some uh, a flat portion so this flat portion can also be created so it's being created with a you can see the pocket command so basically a line is being created and uh, then the pocket is uh, done so that the top portion whatever is there on the top will be gone and uh, once the pocket will be done you'll be getting a sharp corner over here select that corner and give edge fillet so as you can see here this will be a corner which remains after the pocket command and for this particular corner give a, a radius for the fillet and do the fillet so you can see this uh, particular a rounded shape or the fillet uh, shape so and once you're done with that you need to create this particular portion here so you can go to the top view and uh, create the uh, sketch here and then go and do padding so that you get the basic parent object and once you're done with the parent select the uh, select the command and go to insert transformation feature circular pattern and do the circular pattern so if you want to know more about in detail about the circular pattern uh, just go to my videos and search for the circular pattern and you can see a video which is completely related to the circular pattern command so select this and give angular spacing and give the counts so if uh, it's difficult for you to give the angular spacing uh, you have another option that's called as a complete crown and then you can specify the number of instances you need inside so and you need to give reference element so you can specify that reference element that's how you can create another way and the circular pattern so and uh, you need to uh, give a basic pocket command here uh, 
basic pocket command will be given and uh, that will be given before creating this particular part here so that's all about uh, the uh, design uh, technique of uh, engine SL of uh, Boeing 737800 airliner so I hope you enjoyed uh, my video and I hope this video is gonna uh, inspire uh, the budding KTAV5 engineers or design engineers to create or try creating a, uh, a prototype of uh, airliner so thank you so much for watching